One less vacant house in Youngstown tonight. The mayor, uh, Mayor Tito Brown, used the demolition of a major dumping site on the east side to announce a new partnership to clean up the city. First News reporter Amanda Smith looks at how the dumping situation has changed since she covered this story three years ago. With a low rumble and a crack and a smash, the last house standing on a street used for dumping came tumbling down. As soon as council approves it, this street will be closed off and people won't be able to dump here anymore. I'm excited uh, because this is something uh, we've talked about now we're putting things in action. Mayor Tito Brown used the demolition to announce a new partnership today with CCA. The city will pay CCA for work crews to clean up dumping sites. Jennifer Jones with Green Youngstown says that extra help will go a long way. We tend to focus a lot more on the illegal dumping, the tires, the mattresses, uh, and various other debris that you can see around here. And we, we spend a whole lot of time cleaning that up, and we don't really have a lot of time for actual bottles and cans on the sides of the road. Dumping has been a major issue for a long time. Now, this trash has appeared since Friday night. Three years ago, I did a story on how people were dumping their trash illegally on Dudley Avenue. The city put up the barrier you see behind me to make it a little bit harder. Let me show you what it looks like today. People are still dumping their trash illegally. About two years ago, the city started closing off empty roads where most of the dumping occurred. Closing the streets is helping. The city is so large and we have, unfortunately, a lot of abandoned land. And so there's just the, and it's a, there's just so many places for people to illegally dump. So by closing off certain areas, it focuses so we're better able to catch them. In addition to putting up cameras to catch dumpers in the act, the city is also looking at the way the streets are blocked. Our street department, we're talking about some creative ways of blocking them where you can't get around them. And in the meantime, the city will keep cleaning up one dump site at a time.